Hey Geminis, what's up? How are you guys? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and tap in and get a general overall energy read for you. See what's going on with my Gemini Collective. First off, Geminis, I want to say thank you for all the love, likes, shares, and subscribes you've been sending to my page. I really do appreciate you all. Okay, and I do want to thank you for all of you who have uh, requested a personal reading. Thank you for showing support and trusting me as your reader. As well as thank you just for overall letting me be a part of your healing journey and me being, uh, you guys being a part of my journey. So I did get some messages from you all um, when I was shuffling. Something came up about an abusive relationship somebody may have been in. Um, by the way, this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node in Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node in Gemini. Alrighty, so yeah, something came up about somebody being involved in a toxic relationship. This could have been an abusive relationship of some sort. Now, for some of you, this could be with a Virgo. Um, or there's a Virgo involved, or you have Virgo in your chart, or this is somebody in your energy that's going through an abusive relationship with a Virgo. But I'm kidding. Somebody thinks you are sexy, okay? Somebody thinks you are sexy. Somebody is very, very attracted to you, uh, Gemini. But Spirit is giving you justice when it comes to something. It looks like something may have happened, and you are getting justice for it. And your justice is going to be a divine connection. Um, but I also see that maybe you guys are being a little stingy with your love or somebody feels like you're being stingy with your love. Um, I'm getting this person may, you know, feel like you're just holding back from them. Or maybe, maybe this is you. Maybe you feel like somebody's being stingy with their love. But I'm also getting... There's a story where a possible masculine, or this could be a feminine, but I'm getting masculine energy. A masculine energy has married for money and security purposes, and they are realizing that they don't love the person they married. Now, this may be a king of wands. I got king of wands, but it came upright. So this person is your divine counterpart. Somebody is walking in their divine purpose okay this person is a king of wands aries leo sagittarius but this person this person is in love with you okay so let me go ahead and tap in and see what all of these channel messages are about for you Alrighty. so let's see gemini sun moon rising venus and north now uh, north node in gemini Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Ancestors, all divine beings of the spirit realm of the highest forms of the highest of light. Please tap in and channel messages through me um, that are for the collective Gemini. Please provide the truth and any clear, and any clear intuitive messages. Please protect me as well as the Gemini collective as I channel messages, okay? Also, return any spell work to anybody who has been sending any spell work or black magic to Gemini or myself. Please return it back to sender. Okay, perfect. Thank you. All right, so what does the Gemini Collective need to know at this time, Spirit? Any messages? Any other messages for Gemini? Ascension tension. Okay, what else? And awaken in reverse. Okay, so I know this is not well. This is air energy. Okay, this is air and energy. So some of you guys may be going through some ascension tension, where it's like, okay, I've ascended, I've done the work, I'm here. Now what? Um, now this is the where it might feel uncomfortable for you. Uh, you may feel like you're stuck, like it's hard to move forward. Um, like there's a lot of obstacles trying to. They're getting your way to stop you from something, okay? Um, I'm feeling there are a lot of obstacles trying to get in your way to stop your awakening because you are very close to some sort of realization. You're close to having, I'm seeing all the elements on this card. So I see water, air, earth, and fire. You are close to being extremely balanced. I'm saying you guys are close to being the alchemist. You already are the, the alchemist. This is upright. So you guys are definitely working on your individuality at this time. You may be uh, shopping for yourself, trying to look good, a lot of self-care rituals. You are in the spotlight. You guys are glamorous at this time. But I'm getting these obstacles 
that are getting in your way, they may make you feel kind of stuck. Like, you know, did I awaken? Did I ascend? What's going on? I feel like I'm getting, you know, karma. But that's because spirit is encouraging you to work on your individuality. There's something that you're supposed to be doing that's going to be really big, okay? When I was getting your reading, I was getting something is going to be worldwide, global. Like, some of you may have people come to you and seek advice. Some of you may be counselors. I'm getting, there may be, you may work with the youth or you may work with um, adults or, but some of you guys may be counselors. People like to come to you to seek some sort of, you know, guidance. Some of you guys could be June Geminis as well. I'm saying the 06 come up. But you guys definitely have a inner knowing that you were supposed to be here for a purpose. And that inner knowing has always guided you. And I'm getting, it's, you are about to be protected from the rain, but spirit wants you to develop your individuality, develop, develop your confidence, develop your self-esteem at this time, okay? Because you are protected from any, anything. Things are going to start being balanced for you. Yeah, you're stepping in your power as well. Like you've taken your power back. You guys are magicians. You're in your you're in your full power. Some of you guys may be, um, and some of you may be into, like you may be white witches. You you may, you may be a healer. I'm getting strong creation energy out here, which is the solar plexus. You guys are definitely in your God power. Some of you may be going back to school. You may be studying, or you may be researching at this time. Okay, you may be reading a lot of books. Just you may be working hard, okay? And it might feel like you're sluggish. It might feel like you're tired. And you're like, oh, well, how come this is going on? This is going on. This is going on for me. That's because you're being pushed forward, Gemini. You're being pushed into your individuality. You're being pushed forward. Some of you may need to seek, uh, like, some of you guys may need to seek, like, professional help. Maybe a counselor. Um, or you've been considering doing this. Uh, just because you feel blocked but if you do feel stuck and you feel like it's hard to get out and be around people and you're you have a lot on your plate please please seek professional counseling okay don't go don't go with any pain inside of you and not be able to move through that definitely a lot of things um going on here maybe you may feel like just blocked like what's going on but things are moving even if you even if you don't think they're moving they are moving okay they're just moving slowly at this time because you're 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 being asked to work on your individuality some of you guys are in your personal year number one if you want to look up what that means but your personal year number one um it's all about the year of the magician like in tarot the number one is the fool like it's the one that goes out on the journey okay so you guys are definitely starting a, a new cycle and you may be asked to work on your individuality maybe this is why things are stuck you need to get out and, and work on your individuality at this time who are you gemini okay some of you can tell me i'm getting some of you have been working on your individuality but, and things are just feeling stuck. Yeah, you, your chakras are balanced, Gemini. You are in alignment at this time. You are in alignment. There are things coming your way. Like, I'm getting you're extremely balanced. But you may feel kind of stuck. Like, what's going on? What What's going on, okay? But Spirit wants you to keep the faith, keep believing that things will work out in your favor. Keep, keep believing. Keep the faith. Don't give up the faith, okay? You have the power to have everything that you desire. Yeah, there may have been people praying that you wouldn't make it to where you need to go, okay? Somebody may have been praying that you weren't who you said you were. Somebody, somebody was praying on you in a negative way, but you guys are earth angels. You're sent here for a purpose, okay? You may have your guides teaching you this. Your guides may be showing you something that... Your guides may be showing you something at this time, okay? 
Okay, let me see. Oops, sorry, Gemini. Yeah, you may feel like this person, this person could be praying that you would get oppositions you sent your way, or they may have tried to send some sort of, somebody may be praying to something dark and they may not have realized that you were an eighth, uh, earth angel. Somebody may have been praying for you to have opposition, okay? Let's see, what else? But you awakened. Yeah, somebody somebody thought you were going to stay stuck and be in a, in a mindset of not having faith and overcoming your obstacles. But guess what? You awakened and you overcame your obstacles. And you're still you're still overcoming your obstacles. You're still doing that. Like you're still showing up every day. You're still putting in the work. Okay, yeah. Somebody somebody tried to track you. This person could have lived in your community or been someone in your local, like in someone in your town or someone close to you. Or in an organization, somebody you could have worked with. But this person tried to trap you. They tried to trap you, but luckily you were awakened. Yeah, you guys may be uh, into esoteric reading. You may be tarot readers. Or you may be somebody that has insight. You have sacred knowledge. You guys are definitely into divination of some sort. Because I got a strong... Yeah, what did I say at the bottom of the deck? You guys are healers, Gemini. You guys are definitely healers. I'm getting some of you may be Reiki healers. Some of you may be tarot readers. But you guys have healing, like a healing touch to you. You're somebody who's a very healing person, okay? And you guys, I'm getting your power. One of your major powers are your gifts of touch, are your gifts of healing. Somebody, something said in my head that you guys like to put your hands in your food and you bring, you bring healing through your food. That's what I got. Somebody likes to cook. Some of you guys, Geminis, you guys are really beautiful, okay? I'm not saying some of you guys. You guys are beautiful. I'm getting if you're a feminine, like if you're a, a, a feminine energy, Gemini, you are just, you're somebody that really takes care of yourself, okay? And not only are you beauty and brains and smart and intelligent, you're somebody who is into divination. You're somebody that's like smart on a spiritual level. You're, you you are about that life, okay? I'm getting, it may feel hard for you. Like, you may feel like you're losing faith sometimes and you're like, why is this not going in my favor because I'm an earth angel? But you are a healer and this is your power. This is what you're sent here to do. I'm getting, you're supposed to be a part of healing the world. This is your occupation. For some of you, this is what you do. You you are into divination as your occupation, okay? Or you're a healer as your occupation. Um, some of you are doctors as well. Maybe you are a herbalist or you're somebody that works in like the medical field. But you are somebody that, you know, you're somebody that people can actually trust. What else, Spirit? And these gifts that you have, Gemini, this is going to bring you in abundance. Your gifts will, I'm getting your gifts are going to clear out any opposition that's been going towards you. It's going to balance things for you. Your gifts are given to you. This is a gift in itself. God wanted to give you not only an awakening, not only do you have spiritual gifts, you also get to be physically taken care of in this world as well. I'm getting you are somebody that is very favored by the divine. Yeah. What is this poverty? Please help. Okay, so yeah, there is someone in your energy coming up. This person was blocked in your past, okay? You may have blocked this person, whether on social media or you just blocked them from having access to you. You may be saying 999, but I'm getting you block somebody out and you decided to go in a different direction. You decided to walk in your north node. Um, you decided to focus on your divine purpose, to, to follow your inner guidance. Yeah, and now somebody spent a lot of time thinking about you. Now someone wants to come forward and message you. They want to message you or they may want to tell you that they got married and they were in a commitment. 
yeah, this person is getting karma. And it looks like it's in your favor, Gemini. So somebody's receiving karma. They may even be going to court or they may have went to spiritual court and things are not going in their favor at this time. Somebody's experiencing a lot of destruction and chaos. And this could be a Scorpio because this card reminds me of the Tower card in Tarot. Yeah, this could be a Scorpio. Somebody's having a lot of chaos and conflict in their life. This person is dealing, that's because it looks like this person is dealing with a karmic femme. Like they're dealing with a karmic. And it looks like, it looks like somebody may even be going through a divorce or separation from this person that they may have married. Yeah. This person was definitely jealous and envious of you in the past. Somebody was very materialistic and they thought about money a lot. Somebody was very money focused. And it came out in reverse. Somebody was very greedy and stingy. They were very greedy and stingy to a divine feminine, okay? I don't have to make this up. You guys are the divine feminine. You are. And I'm getting spirit is giving you a connection. For some of you, you're going to be given a connection with your twin flame. You're going to be getting into a connection with your twin flame. Yeah. For some of you, this may have been your twin flame. This is why you're getting, you may be getting a higher level soulmate because your twin flame is not, well, this is upright. So it looks like to me, you may be coming into balance with the twin flame or like something is balancing out, whether you're, be, you're balancing yourself out. And you're coming into your 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 feminine and masculine energies. By you doing this, you are attracting some sort of connection into your life. You're going to be given some sort of connection. Yes, and I'm getting it with your twin flame. But there is this person, this Pisces energy uh, with the priestess out here. Doesn't have to be. But there is this energy that does not like this. Okay, They don't like the fact that you're moving on towards your twin flame. This person does not like this connection. They don't like that somebody has awakened and they would rather choose to be in poverty than be with them. Somebody is wakening up, okay? Somebody is definitely wakening up uh, to this Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. This, I'm getting Pisces energy. This Pisces is waking up. I mean, this it's possibly a Scorpio is waking up about a Pisces, okay? Somebody's seeing things for what they are. Somebody is into, somebody's a dark witch. And somebody may have seen a message or something like that. And they they decided to divorce this person. Because they found out somebody was just not what they said they were. Yeah, this wasn't a surprise to you though, Gemini. This wasn't a surprise to you because you, this person tried to manipulate you. This person may have even tried to manipulate you in the past this masculine but your ancestors they don't play about you they, they didn't they didn't deal with that okay somebody your ancestors warned you that this person was childish and they're not who they say they are yeah you are very protected and honored in the spiritual realm but you guys are divine feminines and i'm getting feminine energy some of you could be uh masculine of course so you are divine masculine and you know that you know your worth Alrighty, what else is going on with Gemini spirit? What else can you tell me about Gemini Collective? What else does the Geminis need to know? What else does Geminis need to know at this time? Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords. What else, spirit? We have the Hermit, Virgo energy. Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. And we have the Knight of Swords, strong air energy, perfect. Yeah, so you're deciding not to reconcile with someone from the past, but you're headed into you're headed into a connection with someone you actually love. I'm kidding, or you will be. There may have been somebody who decided to leave a toxic family situation or toxic relationship, and now they want to come towards you and offer their cup to you. But this person didn't make a smart decision, okay? Somebody went back to someone from the past because they thought it would be a better investment. And maybe somebody found out that they went back to a gold digger. 
yeah, this person, this person made a naive uh, decision. Somebody was very naive what they decided to do. But for you, Gemini, I am getting that you are about to have some new beginnings, new opportunities. Some of you guys are getting and having new ideas. You may be getting some type of communication about a house that you've been waiting to hear from. You may be getting approved for a house. Okay, I'm getting you guys are definitely spending a lot of time like in introspection, a lot of time just soul searching. You may be healing at this time still, and you may be trying to find the light, or you may be following the light, okay? You're, you're just walking in your north node. You're going to get some communication coming your way as well. Let's see what this is for you, though. What is this Ace of Swords for Gemini spirit? What's this Ace of Swords for Gemini? This is Ace of Swords for Gemini Spirit. Okay, let's see. What's the Ace of Swords? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node in Gemini. What's the Ace of Swords? Okay. So, I'm getting, you guys are going to have wish fulfillment. Something is going to bring in so much emotional fulfillment. Maybe an idea. Something you're doing. Okay, I'm getting you guys are going through an ascension. And you are experiencing this ascension tension. Um, but you're going to have fulfillment of your dreams. Okay, we're looking at the big picture here. Uh, you have a lot of happiness coming your way. A lot of joy. A lot of contentment. You guys are maybe being inspired to be creative at this time. There is something that you're creating something that you're focused on at this time. Um, but you guys um, are definitely going to feel a lot more positive and optimistic with what you're working towards. I'm getting you will be getting abundance from whatever this is or you whatever this achievement is or this reward you're going to be getting, this is going to be something that's going to boost your self-confidence, okay? You're going to definitely have things work out in your favor here. But there is possibly a Scorpio in your energy. This person is having some sort of reality check. They're realizing that they made a poor decision about something. For stability, somebody may have abused their power sexually. And they went into something because of finances. And somebody's, somebody's seeing what they did. They, they're realizing that they made the wrong decision. Uh, decision. Okay, what is Hermit Spirit? Okay. This came out double. Like, so, the same one fell out on the same card. Okay, so the number nine. So, you guys are definitely self-reflecting. Um, you're healing. You are learning lessons at this time. You're being enlightened. Some of you may be spending some time by yourself. You may not be hanging out with a lot of people. Um, you're definitely searching for the truth. Some of you are truth tellers. You know, you're you're trusting your inner guidance at this time when it comes to life. You're you're not leaning on your own knowledge, but you're you're trusting in your inner guidance, which is your own knowledge. <laughs> but you're not trusting like things outside of you. You're trusting yourself to guide you at this time. And there may be somebody in your energy, this Scorpio, possibly this person is starting to see that this person they had a child with, this person was very insecure. Somebody was bitter, they didn't have any confidence, and somebody, they can't grow with this person, okay? This person is very uh, careless and emotionless, so somebody is starting to see that they made a bad investment going towards this person. Yeah, somebody, somebody doesn't want to continue with this empress in reverse. What else, spirit? Yeah, maybe they think this person is a gold digger. This person is very unstable. They lack security and somebody just somebody just consumes and consumes and consumes to keep up with the Joneses, okay? Yeah, this person is realizing that they made the, the wrong decision and somebody is starting to see the truth. Somebody may be having money problems and they may feel like a lack of, like they, maybe this is you, Gemini, okay? If you have Taurus, you can be on the cusp. You may be feeling like you may be feeling like, like I said in the beginning, like you're not sure what to do when it comes to your, like what's next, okay? But I'm also getting that you're going to push through this. You have clarity about the gifts that you have. You you are a truth teller. You're somebody that sees the vision. 
you're very strong, you're very concentrated, okay? You may be having a bunch of new ideas come your way. You may be having uh, a lot of mental clarity about something. There's a breakthrough going on for you, okay? You're going to be getting a victory. Yeah, you're going to be getting a victory. And I'm getting somebody is in regret because they keep fighting and having conflict. They keep fighting and having conflict. Okay, somebody keeps fighting and having conflict with someone. And it's a constant struggle. I'm seeing cancer come up here. You could have been dealing with a cancer. Okay. Yeah, somebody can't move forward and they're stuck. They're stuck. They're having a lot of inner conflict because they regret the fact that they missed an opportunity with you. This person is now having clarity. Okay, let's see. What is this Knight of Swords? Yeah, so you are about to get some good news, Gemini's. You're about to get the truth or you're going to get some sort of direct communication. Um, it looks like you are being recognized at this time. Okay, you're about to have successes. You are about to win. You are about to be in the spotlight or you already are. You're being praised. I'm getting you guys are being recognized. You may have... Um, you may have... Okay, you may have supporters. So there may be people that actually look up to you. And you may be about to work together with someone that's going to actually help you grow. Or maybe this is you working with someone at work or learning. There's some sort of connection that's coming in that is going to require you to work together to achieve your goals with someone. Okay, but I do see you working hard. You may even get a new job. Some of you guys are working on a business where you're self-employed. Some of you have a business and you're definitely working on establishing it. Okay, you may be into the market like trading, stocks, but you're working on your reputation and I see you working on a, 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 a skill or a craft so that way you can master it. You're putting in a lot of hard work at this time. Yeah, you're dedicating yourself. There's this big change coming up for you, okay? It's going to be a great opportunity. Spirit wants you to go ahead and seize this moment. Jump in and be confident. Be confident, okay? Whatever this is coming up, be confident. Because whatever this is, Gemini, it's going to bring in your Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so whatever this is, you're being recognized. Some of you guys are definitely in the public eye. And you may be about to work together with someone, whether, like, this could be... A Capricorn doesn't have to be, but you're about to work together with someone who's going to actually bring in a lot of changes in your life and possibly lead you to this Ten of Pentacles, this lump sum of money, okay? You may get a will or a trust, but whatever this money is, this inheritance, or it's going to start a solid foundation for you. So you do have great things coming your way, great, great things coming your way. Yeah, and I'm getting this person, this cancer possibly, this person was stuck in an unhappy family dynamic with a Pisces, and now somebody may be going through a divorce. They may be ready to move forward, but they feel hopeless. They feel hopeless because now somebody's getting karma. You may be saying 111 or 1111. Somebody's now getting karma for what they did to you, okay? They may have done black magic on you to play with your emotions. Somebody may have played on the fact that you had unhealed uh, childhood wounds and that's what how this person was trying to keep you stuck but it didn't work it didn't work you healed okay you have healed you have beautifully healed and you're moving forward or you should okay there are things that are coming for you that you know i don't even think that you realize there are great things coming for you guys Alrighty, what else for my magicians? What else for my lovers? What else for them, spirit? Any other messages for my Geminis? Ooh. Any other messages for my Geminis? You may be seeing 20, what was that, 2930? Or maybe look up 2930. That could be relevant to you. Okay, yeah. Uh, it says, I have rhino rhinoceros in reverse. So Spirit wants you to be strong and courageous at this time. Definitely focus on 
um, any tendencies to revert back to feeling insecure or like you're not good enough. Spirit wants you to be sure that you are strong, you are courageous, because you are. There may be some codependencies that could be affecting your love life, okay? Some addictions, and maybe some of these addictions need to be healed. Some of you guys um, are good at writing. It says that you heal, inspire, and teach, and entertain with your words that you write. Some of you guys are supposed to be spiritual writers, or maybe you're writing a book. Spirit wants you to connect with your angels. Talk to your angels. Instead of worrying about whatever you're worrying about, ask for divine guidance. So that way you're led in the right direction. But you guys are going through a, a major transformation, okay? You're living according to your divine essence. And Spirit wants you to continue walking and continue to have faith. Even though it may feel like things are not working in your favor, like things are not going right for you. Just continue to walk in your faith, okay? So you have a lot of good things coming up for you, Gemini, this week. A lot of new introspections, a lot of, you know, working on yourself. A lot of things to, to put you in the right direction where you need to go. So keep it up. Even if it feels impossible, I'm getting you guys are headed in the right direction. So I see passion out here. Spirit wants you to allow your heart and your soul to sing with joy, okay? Follow your passions. Your, your passions make you an uh, individual. Uh, Spirit wants you to follow that. Whatever that is for you, follow that. Um, definitely make the effort when it comes to love. It says great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So you're being guided to take, you know, if you are being guided to take some steps when it comes to love, definitely follow your guidance when it comes to your angels. They're trying to lead you to your soulmate, to someone, possibly your twin flame, okay? And, yeah, you guys are definitely feeling stuck, I see, but things will start moving for you. And we have out here, clear yourself. Ask angels to release any toxic energies that you may have absorbed. So I've gotten this for you guys quite a bit. Clear yourself. So there is some energy that needs to be decluttered with your spring cleaning, okay? Okay. We still need to release this toxic energy that, or there may be somebody you're around that's not good for you and it needs to be released, okay? Some of you need to release this. Some of you may like to release your toxic, like, negative energies by dancing. Maybe you're being inspired to dance, okay? But you guys are definitely, you're, you're releasing any toxic situations. I'm seeing that you are working on that. You are working on releasing that. It's not in reverse, so this is something that you're currently doing, okay? So that is really good. And your ascended masters, your ascended masters are very proud of you, okay? It says powerful, loving, and wise spiritual teachers are watching over and guiding you. And they are very proud of you. This is upright. So you're being guided by your ascended masters, your teachers. They are watching over you at this time, and they're making sure that you are headed in the right direction for your soul's purpose. But it says quiet retreat at the bottom of the deck. It's time to disconnect from the outer world so that you can discern and process your true thoughts and feelings from your inner world. Create this quiet time for yourself and you'll have more clarity about what to do next. So some of you guys are doing this now. You're spending time by yourself just to see what it is you want, okay? This is really good for you, Gemini. I see a lot of good positive changes coming from you deciding to do that. All right, so what else for Gemini spirit? What else for my magicians? What else for them? For my manifestors? What else for Gemini spirit? What else? Any other messages for them? Thank you. So we have discipline. You guys are showing discipline right now. It says I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Good. You guys are definitely showing discipline. You're working hard. You're putting in that work. Okay, but Spirit wants you to maybe show a little bit more discipline when it comes to your health. It says, I will honor the physical vessel that en enshrines my soul. Okay, so some of you guys are being called to try a vegan diet or vegetarian diet. I'm getting, maybe you need to eat a little bit more greenery. Like, 
greens, fruits, and green vegetables. Um, there's, there's, there's a need for a diet change, it looks like. So, Spirit wants you to show some discipline when it comes to that. Um, it says, I feel good when I can help others. Yeah, you guys are really good at helping people. You guys are in the business of being in service to humanity. I'm getting that you are living in your purpose. You're doing what you're supposed to. Just make sure that you're pouring into your vessel as well and helping yourself. Um, I almost called you Capricorn. For I don't know why I keep thinking about Capricorn for some reason doing this reading. So you guys can have Capricorn in your chart or dealing with the Capricorn. But it says this is your soul time, okay? This is your time for security, stability, and just to feel like to feel grounded it says the frequency of soul time asks us to allow the possibility of a new reality to emerge one that embraces the concept that while the corporal body is mortal the soul is timeless limitless and infinite so you are being asked to think about that your body is definitely you know your your body's here it's in the 3d it's mortal the spirit wants you to dive into those deeper things, the soul things, okay? Know that your soul is timeless. Know that you are limitless. You can accomplish anything you set your mind to. Um, you are an infinite being, and you have the ability to create anything you want in your reality. You have the ability to create your stability, whatever that looks like for you, whatever that security or stability looks like for you. But you're being asked to realize that. Alrighty, it says the frequency of realization supports the internal process of becoming aware of our heart-centered truth, as well as the external process of becoming our highest expression in this world. So you guys are definitely realizing what the truth is. You're realizing that you are the truth. Yeah, you are definitely finishing out a cycle. You're completing a cycle. And I'm getting you are becoming the highest, most you're becoming the highest version of yourself. You're expanding. And you're expressing that to the world. You're expressing that positive growth energy. That positive expansion energy, okay? Yeah, you guys are definitely growing. Alrighty, so what else? So I have conscious focus. So what I focus on, I attract more of. Starting with today, I will be more conscious of what I choose to spend time speaking of or thinking of. I will do more of the things that bring me joy and see as, mo and see as more of these things begin to effortlessly flow into my life. Sorry, I got a little tongue tied there, Gemini's, but you guys are working through your conscious fears at this time, or you need to. Spirit wants you to change your way of thinking and speaking, okay? Think about what you're going to say. Think about what you're going to, like, just make sure that your thoughts are on things that you want to create and not on things that hold you back and keep you stuck. Spirit wants you to create, not, you know, not destroy your creations. You are the magician. Are you going to be a positive magician or a dark magician, Gemini? It's up to you. But, of course, I got divine feminine out here, divine masculine. You guys are definitely the upright magicians you're doing this you're doing this the right way okay so some of you may feel a little up and out it says to heal the parts of me that i feel hurt i must feel every emotion so you're being called to feel every emotion at this time some of you may even be crying about it okay it has to come up to come out so whatever's in there has to come up and it has to come out for you to be able to un like you have to unblock these stuck energies it says, I don't try to push my feelings away. I sit with them and feel them as I release them. So definitely feel your emotions. Don't try to push them away. Don't try to run from them. Definitely feel them, okay? This is going to help you conquer a lot of those conscious uh, fears. But also know that everything is okay. It says, all that I feel is okay. I hold myself in love through the unsureness, the worry, the doubt, the anger, the fear, and the anxiety. Through the rejection or any feelings of overwhelmness. I am thankful to feel the full range of emotions that I do. These emotions are the very contrast that leads to my higher expansion. Okay, so Gemini, what I'm getting for you right now is you're being called to feel your emotions. To actually experience feeling. To get in touch with your feelings, okay? So by doing this, this is going to give you more 
of a like balance, okay? More of a balance and more power for you. By you balancing your emotions and allowing yourself to feel to the full extent, you're going to become a more powerful magician. So that means your manifestations are going to be more powerful. Everything you're trying to manifest is going to be a lot more powerful, okay? It's just all about alignment. And we are energy and energy has to go through. Like sometimes our energies can get blocked. It can get stuck. So it's important that you can feel through these emotions and get them out of you. So that way you're able to clear out any blockages and keep, you know, you won't feel as stuck. Yeah, there may be a lot of, you may feel like there's a lot of things coming your way. But you are being inspired to focus on your individuality. Have some discipline when it comes to who you are. Know that you are deserving of good health. You're deserving of a, a soulmate that treats you with respect. You're deserving of all of that, okay? I'm also seeing out here, it's not personal. It says people's reactions or opinions of me are really not about me at all. People tend to project their own insecurities or fears onto me or onto other people. So when someone speaks unkindly to me, I'll remember they have something going on that has nothing to do with me. So this is in reverse. So maybe you guys need to take that perspective. Maybe you need to understand that or understand that a lot of times that when someone projects how they feel onto you, maybe you may be having some issues with some people in your life, some toxic energies, and they're, they're projecting onto you, okay? It's not about you. So Spirit doesn't want you to take it personal. Understand where people are on their journey as well as where you are on yours. Uh, so be careful with allowing people to have the power to disturb you in that manner, okay? But it's hard. I do understand that. It's hard to, you know, it's really, it's very difficult. I want to say difficult, okay? Not hard, but it's difficult to not let things get to you sometimes. Um, but Spirit wants you to continue to know that you are definitely worthy of um, the love that you deserve, okay, within yourself. Don't let people project any fear or their fears onto you. You can achieve anything you want to achieve. I'm getting somebody is in, somebody goes out and they look bomb, okay? Somebody dresses up. Somebody knows how to look good. You guys are very attractive, Gemini's. But anyway, I also see for your, for your affirmation, Spirit wants you to confirm. It says, I know that I am the only one who determines how my story unfolds. Okay, so you guys are the writers. You are the main character in the story. So Spirit wants you to write, I mean, Spirit wants you to affirm that I am the main character. So you're being asked to, to affirm that, that you are the main character, that how your story unfolds is up to you. You're given everything from the divine that you have to, to manifest what you want. You're the magician. You have everything you need to manifest what you need into your life. Spirit wants you to know that you're the main character. You have to do this. You have to put the work in. You guys are definitely doing that. I see somebody is a writer, though. Somebody is going to write books that's going to help out so many people. Alrighty, Somebody's definitely a, a healer through their writing. But it says, I know that it is important to celebrate each win that I have, no matter how big or small. So make sure you're celebrating these wins that you have. Even if you like to drink a glass of wine or go out with friends or just go out with one person and just, you know, celebrate or go out by yourself. Spirit wants you to definitely celebrate all your wins, even if they're small ones, okay? Definitely celebrate the fact that you're stepping into your individuality and you're, you're, you're creating at this time. It says, I am celebrating me. So that is your other affirmation that Spirit wants you to affirm that you are celebrating you for who you are. Celebrate yourself, Gemini's, okay? It's almost your season. You're going to be celebrating anyway. Might as well celebrate yourself. Okay, so Gemini, that was your reading. If you do resonate or if you like this message, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know how I'm doing. Um, but anyway, please stay blessed, guys, and I will talk to you later. Bye.